good to be in the house of the Lord. We've got a wonderful place to be in as we spoke a lot this morning about love and how the church is love. And Brother Lesson, the Bible says that God is love. Amen. That's yeah. what God is, is love. Yes, it is. Brother Ed, I don't love you because of who I am. I'm not who I am this morning because I'm this great person. That Ernie's just this loving guy. Brother James, you don't love because of who you are. You love because of Jesus. Amen. You love because the one that's in you. Because there was a time in my life that I didn't really love nobody. That I didn't really care much for nobody. But praise be the Lamb of God. It's because of Him. The love that He put in me, Brother Dale. That's the reason I can love. We look around at this little church and we see the love in this church. It's not because you're just a great person. It's because who's in you. Amen. It's because Amen. Christ is in you. And Christ is love. And Christ loved you. He said, mm -hmm. oh, glory be to the Lamb of God, Brother James. Uh, he said that if we can't love our brother in whom we ha have seen, how can we love God that we have not seen? Uh, oh, he commands us to love one another, that we may love one another. That's why we love one another this morning. Yeah. That's why we feel the love in this church. Amen. As much as I love Brother Leston, the only good in Brother Leston is Jesus. Amen. Amen. The only good in me is Jesus. Amen. Outside of that, oh, Paul said, all my righteousness work as filthy rags. Yeah. I'm worth nothing, Ed. Yeah. But praise be to God, the one that dwells in me is what makes me worthy this morning. It's what makes you worthy Amen. this morning. Good to be in the house of the Lord. I've had yes, it is. thoughts on my mind. We preached this a couple of times, messages throughout the last few weeks. But this morning, I don't know how God's going to have this go this morning, whether we'll preach that message or we'll preach another message. I don't know. But I come this morning just to be obedient unto Him and mind the Lord. Thank you, Lord. And however the Lord leads me this morning, this is how we'll go. We may preach five minutes. We may preach an hour. I don't know, but we'll just go until the Lord gets done with us. Amen. But as we was uh, coming down the hallway this morning from the San or the fellowship hall over to the sanctuary, uh, this song came to my mind as I sit there throughout the whole service. Uh, this song keeps just going over and over and over in my mind. Just any day now, our Lord is coming. Amen. He'll be returned. For you and me, I've been wait watching, and I've been waiting just to see day now. His face I see. As I stop to take the time to look around me, I can feel the signs of His appearing everywhere. Things He said would come to pass. Are now before us. I can feel the strange excitement in the air. Thank you, Lord. Just any day now, our Lord is coming. He'll be returning for you and me. Oh, I've been watching and I've been waiting. Just any day. Thank you, Lord. You know, as the weeks went on, went ahead here the last few weeks, I thought of a lot of thoughts and I thought of the old adversary. The Bible says that our adversary is as a roaring lion to seek devour who he may, that he's coming after you, Brother James. And the first thing that he attacks, uh, Brother Leston, I believe, uh, is your mind. Uh, he comes after your mind, uh, Brother James. Uh, I think the Bible says that he knows you uh, just as well as you know you, uh, just as well as Christ knows you. Uh, Oh, Satan knows your every thought. Uh, he knows your every weakness. Uh, he knows your strength. Uh, he knows who you are uh, just as better than you know you. Uh, and Brother Ed, uh, I thought of down through the weeks that uh, 
Paul, what is faith? Uh, over in the 11th chapter of the book of Matt, or the Hebrews, uh, he says faith is the substance of things uh, hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Uh, oh, praise be the Lamb of God. Uh, the Bible says without faith uh, it is impossible to please Him. Uh, oh, if we're going to please God, uh, we must have faith. Uh, oh, the Bible says in another part that oh, we are saved by grace and not of works for any man would boast, uh, but it is by your faith that you are saved. Uh, without it, uh, you cannot be saved. Uh, you must have faith. Uh, but I thought of a lot of different things that we may agree on and we may disagree on this morning, each and every one sitting here, but one thing that each and every one of us can agree on, that this thing called death, uh, it is coming uh, to each and every one of us, uh, whether you like it or not. Uh, but as the brother said this morning, that if you're in Christ, uh, you're going to live forever. Uh, you will never die. Uh, oh, that's so true. Uh, but if you're not in Christ, guess what? Uh, oh, you're going to live forever too, uh, like the brother said. Uh, but one day, uh, this old physical body, it will die. Oh, we're in Hebrews 9, 27. He said it was appointed unto man once to die, but after this, the judgment. Uh, Brother James, uh, that's one thing that I believe even the atheist and the Christian can agree on, that we will die. Oh, that atheist that is a non-believer, uh, he still knows uh, one day after a little while, uh, his body's going to go back to the dust, uh, where it came from. Uh, but listen, honey, uh, I want you to know the old devil, the adversary, uh, he wants to put doubt in your mind, just as he did the atheist, to let you believe, uh, to let you think uh,
Uh, listen to what he says to them. Because here become some non-believers. Oh, listen what he says. He says, starting there in the eleventh verse in the second, in the first Corinthians 15 chapter, he said, Therefore, whether it were I or they, so we preach, and so ye believed. This tells me that these was believers. Uh, oh, they heard the word preached. Uh, he says there in the tenth chapter of the book of Romans, I believe it is. Uh, he said, How can they call on him? Years now, if you 
said under His Word, if you listen to His teaching, if you've ever heard Him speak, His main thing He tells us, if don't get in a conversation with the devil, Amen. you know, don't entertain Satan. Because if you start entertaining the devil, guess what? He'll get you just as He did Eve. Right. Uh, you'll yeah. eat from the tree. Uh, you'll take that bite of fruit. Yeah. Uh, you'll that's cause right. damnation upon yourself. And that's exactly what they did. Eve started that. You know what Eve did? Exactly right. She went and told her husband. She got her husband out a little bit too, didn't he? He had to have out Or he would never do it. You're right. But he had to have right. also. You're right. We read on and on about the Word of God. Yeah. Of these men that have followed after God. That is now in God. And now that in God's ability. We listened to the preacher preach last Sunday. He done a wonderful job last Sunday. Yeah. We think about each and every one of us has got a job to do for the Lord. Yes, you know what? The devil will whisper in your ear. He'll say, Brother Ed, you don't have what it takes to teach those children. You don't have what it takes to stand up before them. Oh, Brother Nelson, he'll say, them people at church are making fun of you. Them people think that you're crazy getting up there. Preach 
some more. Amen. What he told. Yep. Peter being Peter, this is my thoughts. I won't say this. But Peter being Peter, looking up on that angel saying, Are you crazy? Right. <laughs> 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 Have you lost your ever love of mine? This is what God is in here. That's right. Why in the world would I go back out there and preach the Lord? Come on, son. Amen. Amen. But you know what the Bible says? He says in the weeds. Let me write that.
your orders. I don't want claims to come upon me. What's your orders? The claims that are impossible with man is not impossible with God. Preach. I mean, I mean, we may say there's no way. There's no way that that can ever happen. But God said, hey, son, I'm bigger than the problem. I mean, what's your faith? Why do you think he gave us the scripture? I can do all things through Christ. Good preaching. Well, the brother just preached last Sunday. Well, listen, he told you that. He said, Your wife, Elizabeth, she will bear a child. And said, He's not a strong drink. He's going to do these things. And said, He will receive the Holy Ghost while he's in his mother's womb. Yep. Now we read on. Where's the little woman that packed her room to say? She started out with just a little bit of doubt. Come on, bro. She started out with just a little bit of doubt. Well, there's no way that I could receive a child. I've not never known the man. But she could see from the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, the angel took from God. You know what? She was so excited. That she wanted to go and tell her cousin Elizabeth. Yep. The Bible says that she went and Elizabeth hid herself away for about six months. And when Mary got there and said, Elizabeth, now I really blow this out for fortune. Because huh? I don't mind, she just said, Elizabeth, you'll never guess what happened to me. <laughs> I don't think she said it like that. I don't think she even run in and said, Man, Lord, you know what happened to me on this one? Oh, I see the Holy Ghost. I, I see the angel Gabriel. He come down upon me. He poured on me the Spirit of God. And I'm back. I'm back to the Son of the Lord. I'm back to Him. And His name shall be named Jesus. Amen. Amen. But so I awesome. think she got a little bit of time. Don't you know? Serving God. I don't care how holy you think you are. 
Sometimes as the devil wants to make us believe that this is a fairy tale. Yeah. But you know I thought as Christ when he was hanging on the cross there was two men with him. There was one that he blasphemed Christ. He mocked Christ. He cursed Christ. Because he wanted one thing. He said, if you are the Son of God, then get us down from here. He didn't care about his salvation. He just wants a blessing to God to know the bunch. Yeah. He wanted off that cross. Yeah. If Jesus would have got him off that cross, he would have went right back to being the thief that yeah. he was before he got put on the cross. Sure there was another thief on that cross yeah. that said, hey, he realized something right then. There was a belief that came in this man. He said that this man has done nothing wrong. We deserve what we call. We deserve to be on this problem. But he is a just man. So he said, Lord, he said, remember, remember me this day. And he did the whole thing. Yeah. Hey. Yes. Amen. 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 Amen.
I'm sure the man, the Bible won't say that he prayed for an hour, that he prayed for 30 minutes, that he confessed every sin that he had ever done. The Bible says that he believed. And he asked the Lord to remember me this day. And the Lord said this day. Not next week, not next month, not next year. He said this day. Thou will be with me in prayer. Amen. Because he believed that day. Will this be the day that you get rid of the doubt and you believe that Christ died for you? And all you have to say is, Lord, remember me. Lord, save me. It ain't no big called out prayer that you've got to pray. It's not something that Brother Dale has... Uh, Brother Ed, you said you spent all that time out all that time. And he probably had hours sitting and trying to figure out exactly what you want to make it sound like. And make it sound the best that the judge would be able to take the word that you had wrote down on some piece of paper and feel sin. Feel with it. But honey, all God wants is what you do in your heart. When he knows you're coming, you just need to the heart. And you say, oh, that's what it's all about. I come to realize just as that thing on that cross, he realized the only person that helped him was the man on the inside of the city. Yeah. What a thought. See, it did. Stuck up in a room. Yeah. Yeah. When you realize today, the only person that can help you. As much as we love Brother Leston, we talked about Brother Leston and how much he loves us. Brother Leston can only do so much. Yeah. I can only do so much. That's right. Bro. But if you've got something that is keeping you from serving God, if you've got something holding you back, if you've got doubt in your mind that you feel that you can't ever get rid of this, come and get rid of this morning. He's free now. Quit that and what you're able to do and just trust in God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And if you're able to do that, realize, come unto yourself, just as the thief on the cross. If that one thief would have ever come to himself and trusted in the man hanging in the middle, he would have been just like the thief on the other side. He was very good. Yep. But because he realized that this is Christ, he got rid of the doubt. He got rid of the unbelief. And that's what it comes down to, unbelief. You must believe. Jesus said in one part that this little blind man had come under Christ. He wanted to be healed. He wanted to see him again. But Christ asked him a question. He said, If thou believest that I am able to do what you ask. The man, he said, Yes, Lord. Yes, I believe. And that's what it's going to take this morning. No matter what you're asking for, I don't know what burden you. I don't know what's hindering you. I don't know what's keeping you away. But I know the one that does. All you have to come this morning, kneel down and offer a prayer, and say, Lord, I believe. I believe that you're faith. The Bible says first we must believe Thank that you, He is God, and He is a rewarder of those who go to the Lord. But you come see Him, you know, found you being rewarded. You know, I saw a lady last night, she told me her brother got saved at like 81 years old. They all ask one, well, it is. And we know the Bible says that he that cometh in the last hour will reap the same reward that he that cometh in the first hour. Yeah. Praise be to God, that's one. But honey, I want to tell you, you're missing out on a lot of rewards. Amen. I'm not talking about money rewards. I'm not talking about those. But I'm talking about earthly rewards. Amen. Earthly blessings. That you, this old man's lived to 81 years old and he's missed out on what God could have blessed him with. Uh, all the blessing of peace, uh, the blessing of love, uh, the blessing of joy, uh, the blessing of happiness. Yeah, that he spent his whole life Amen. and missed out on the blessings of God. Preach. Yes. Will he receive a reward in heaven? Yes. All his life. 